Octo Raider Octopod, incoming Octo Report. Octo Agents, please report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Deshi reporting. Giant wetters. Throughout New Zealand and New Zealand alone, you'll find the habitats that wetters call home. They love to live in caves or sometimes in trees. There are few insects that are larger than these. You'd be surprised how large giant wetters can grow. They weigh too much to jump and their walk is quite slow. And they don't fly or swim, so how do they flee? They do it slowly and deliberately. Yeah! Check it out! Giant, giant wetters. wetters! The mission is done. Your agents prepare. This cave is amazing, Ryler. We're lucky to have an expert like you leading this expedition. <sighs> Thanks for inviting us along. Pleasure's all mine, Quasi. I should be thanking you for inviting me to be an Octo agent. <laughs> I can't wait to explore this place. I've heard legends of cave pearls as big as your fist. <laughs> cave pearls aren't pearls at all, Quasi. Oh. They're just rock formations created by the water that rushes through the cave. Yes, real pearls come from oysters or other shellfish. But there may be a different kind of treasure down here, like a new species of animal. <laughs> is it true that this whole section is completely underwater during the rainy season? Sure is. Whoa! That's why we're here in dry season when there's no rain and the river is low. You have to know the right time to explore a cave or else it's too dangerous. <gasps> what was that? Probably a cave monster. Hmm. Sounds more like a storm outside. Yeah. I thought you said this was the dry season. It is, usually. But it's getting harder to predict when the rainy season will start. <laughs> Looks like it's starting right now! Better head for higher ground. Oh, we made it! It's too dangerous to go back the way we came. Our exit's underwater now. Hmm. Better sound the Octo Alert. <laughs> Octo Agent Ryler, report please. No, Captain. Hot sun from cave is flooded. Your transmission is breaking up. Ah, we've lost contact. Probably because they're so far underground, Captain. We know Ryler's in Vietnam exploring Hung Sung Dong or Mountain River Cave. That's the largest cave in the world, created over two million years ago by an underground river that cuts through the limestone rock under a large mountain. It sounds like they're trapped, but it looks like there's an opening here. It could be a doline. Ah, yes. A doline is an area in a cave where the rock has collapsed and formed a big hole in the ceiling. If I know Ryla, she'll be looking for an opening like that to get back out. So you better get there quickly with the Octoray. Perfect! We can lower our platform down and lift them out faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots! I'd better go too, just in case anyone's hurt. Sounds like a plan. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> With no signal, we can't use the map on our Octo watches. Like I always say, a backup gets your back out. This place is crawling with spiders. Spiders? What kind of spiders? Skull spiders, of course. That's why us pirates have always called it Skull Spider Island. S Skull spiders? Why did it have to be spiders? Oh, don't worry, Quasi. I've been visiting Skull Spider Island for years. As long as you don't bother them, they won't bother you. I'm with you. This island is no place for beetles. Or cats. We need to find you another island. Shellington will be able to help us. Any luck? Still searching. Yes, there's another island nearby that has a large group of bombardier beetles living on it. Your beetles will be right at home there. Sending you the location. Thanks, matey. Problem solved. 
Hop aboard your log and we'll tow you there. <laughs> Wait, we can't leave without Bailey. Who's Bailey? Our scout. He went upstream looking for a safe place for us to live. Pete! Ah! Stay here and make sure everyone plays nice. Play nice, play nice. Quasi, let's go after Bailey. But, but what about the sk sk skull spiders? Ah, oh, don't worry. Like I said, they won't bother us if we don't bother them. Granddad, wait for me. Whoa! Now, which way did that scallywag beetle go? <sighs> Granddad, there he is. Ahoy, matey! Stop! Stop! No way! I'm on a scouting mission! Wait! You don't understand! We're trying to help you! Oh, yes! Help yourselves to this! Fast! Get him off, get him off, get him off! Easy now, Quasi, that's just an old empty cobweb. Are you sure? Are you sure? Check my back, check my back. All clear, matey. No skull spiders in sight. Now, where's that beetle? There he goes. Avast! Your friend sent us to find you. Uh, you think I'm going to fall for that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was an unlucky break, and Bailey got away. Yeah, that little stinker's really starting to bug me. That's it, Quasi. It is? I remember how bad that beetle's acid smelled. How could I forget? That's how we'll find him again. All we've got to do is follow our noses. <sighs> this away. Hello. I don't suppose you're in trouble, are you? You mean, apart from dangling off a ledge? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I've got you, matey. <laughs> oh, sweet. That was a close one. Ah, there you are. As I was saying, cave wetters are likely to jump out to anyone who surprises them. Yes, all right. We're kind of the jump first and ask questions later type of wetter. No worries, me hearty. That's the pirate way, too. All right. Back into the dark for me. So long. Well, looks like we just went on one big wild wetter chase. All the wetters we found seemed OK to me. But that bird definitely told me he saw a wetter in trouble. Wait, what did that bird look like? Um, let me think. Uh, pink legs, uh, black wings, and a thin bill. The black wing stilt! That's the one! And they only live in an area near Lake Tasman. Which means... We've got to go right back to where we started! That wetter has got to be around here somewhere. We're going to have to... Split up! Good idea, matey! Come on, wetter. Where are you? down. Um, my ears are up here. Weird. Mine are in my legs. Really? That's splashing. Are you in trouble by any chance? Well, someone wants to eat me for dinner, so I guess that would be a yes. Who would want to eat a wetter? Uh, you know us rats. We'll eat absolutely anything. <gasps> rats! <laughs> Hang on tight! <laughs> Quasi, Shellington, I found our wetter. Ran into a bit of a rat problem. Oh no, we're trapped. <laughs> this is probably not a good time to tell you I'm a terrible swimmer. Look at this. Two for the price of one. Make the jump? Not really, mate. Giant wetters are also terrible jumpers. Other wetters are good at jumping, but not us. We're just too heavy. Then I'll jump for us. <laughs> 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 
Nice one, mate. You saved the day. Although we are on a melting iceberg in the middle of a lake, and unlike giant wetters, rats are really good swimmers. That wetter's mine. Hey, now, come on, ice out first. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. Ahoy there, mateys. Fancy a parny patty, anyone? They're nice and crunchy. Oh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Never leave a matey behind. That's the pirate way. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.